thanks very much for tuning in um so just thought i'd quickly start well obviously i've got a mess on the floor i've been harvesting like crazy chopping a lot of the leaves down uh, and over there just trying to clear things out um, but right here right now it looks like this potato plant is done um, but the problem that i've got is these ones are not really done um, so i might just leave this one to do its thing and die off completely let those die off and see how we go the very first one that was planted is doing amazing stuff so uh, kind of confused I i'm going to guess that they're different um, types of potatoes and um, just need to harvest this pea before it starts to go purple and mature um, but i'm not really seeing many more peas at the moment but the one problem i've had is i haven't been looking too much uh, at the garden the last few days so i do need to do a good harvest i do need to harvest a few of these um, onions so i will be harvesting them and putting them in the garage to dry and as well i need to harvest do a lot better uh, not with the wasps because they're all over here uh, but harvesting these guys these cucumelons the uh, mexican sour gherkins they, they're starting to grow uh, quite a bit so i need to just harvest those as quick as i can um, so i've got quite a few on the top i will harvest those and i have been harvesting a couple of the um the lemon cucumbers but not too many and we are starting to get some tomatoes ripening so i've harvested one of these big guys already um, we're starting to get quite a few of these coming through which is good uh, not so much of the peppers this season but not too worried about that i'm not a fan it's just for my son really who who likes them um, but we are starting to get quite a few of the um, cherry tomatoes so these are kind of what we call wild ones um, what the mother-in-law uh, gave us it's kind of a bigger cherry tomato so we're getting quite a few of these all along i don't know if you can see inside uh, that are starting to ripen so that's good as well as we are starting to get uh, a lot of these um, tomatillos to fill out so i don't know if you can tell uh, not with this guy in a way but it's actually full so it's starting to fill out which is a good sign um, other than that in the garden have been harvesting a couple of the pickles from here so this plant isn't doing as good as i wanted it to but it is climbing up which is good um, other than that really there's not really too much going on um, in the back garden the corn is starting to come along so we are starting to get quite a few corns uh, popping up here so i need to do a better job of shaking and pollinating as we go so basically shake it get all of the seeds down into the tassels uh, let that pollinate and go through uh, i do need to do a better job at harvesting the sage because that pineapple sage is a monster i think i will do that next year again it is definitely a great plant to have uh, my ac is not blasting as much but it's been blasting today uh, the last few days have not been too bad zucchinis are starting to kind of come back uh, i think i need to give it a bit more fertilizer and I'm, I'm disappointed on the first year of the artichokes uh, i will be harvesting this guy before it flowers uh, getting another one coming through from the side here but nothing really on the side here and i keep on forgetting to harvest the the peas i'm letting these peas go to seed um, but i keep on forgetting to harvest this one to cut it off i think there's one somewhere that went to seed yeah right down here that i missed so right down here that's why this plant died because this guy went to seed as well as a couple of others so um i'll just harvest those for seeds which is great and i'll harvest these for seeds which is great as well my neighbor's ac just kicked in so sorry for the noise um and not really getting much from the other artichokes i'm thinking it's a sunlight issue because this one gets the most sun this was the earliest one as well um so we'll just have to see what goes on there and again we're getting quite a few corn coming here this guy is nice and juicy so that is a good sign um we've got a few bees doing the jobs there as you can see which is always nice to see but uh, not really getting too many of the lemon cucumbers so you can see one there um i'm thinking oh i just spotted one right at the back there i don't know if you can see it bees flying in my face but right at the back here uh, there's one that i'm going to have to harvest that is a nice meaty one uh, other than that 
nothing really going on too much do need to harvest the kale i haven't really been on it this week i've been so busy with work and everything else trying to maintain this garden is a full-time job on its own uh, and we are getting the i like this the um lemon cucumbers are actually going through the vines here uh going through the corn even the vines are going through the corn which is great and i do have some um, soybeans down there that i do need to harvest which is another good thing but again just keep on forgetting to harvest and my son and wife aren't really helping out even though they're the ones that eat everything as well so that's everything from the back garden here i'll show you what's going on upstairs and on the balcony and we'll see what's going on further from there hello everybody welcome out to the balcony so first things we'll see here is the leaves here i'm gonna have to really harvest a lot of these leaves they're not doing very well so i'm just gonna do a big culling and get all of these leaves i'm thinking the difference between what i did here and what i do downstairs is carrots i'm wondering whether carrots are taking away a lot of the nutrition that the plant needs the fruit isn't tasting any different it's actually very sweet so i'm not seeing it as a big problem uh it just doesn't look nice so right now i'm not seeing it actually be a problem with the plant the plant's not dying but it's it's just not nice um one thing i can say is and you'll notice is the screen door i fixed it isn't the best job it isn't as tight as i wanted it to be but you know what beggars can't be choosers it works um so that's something that's cleared up a bit of space here i do actually have family visiting next week so kind of a reason why i had to do it um the watermelons are doing nice so i've got them nice and protected um, mint is doing amazing it always does you, you it's very hard to kill mint um and again watermelon here is doing well the parsley is doing amazing um we don't really eat parsley but i think i'll dehydrate it and maybe give some of it away um the soybeans here i think they're dead i'm not seeing any beans i'm not really seeing any leaves I'm thinking this guy's dead but we'll give it time and we'll see uh, same with this one uh, i'm seeing a few beans a few leaves but nothing really going on too much um this watermelon's still pretty small so i'm not too impressed there this one's huge so again because these are in pots i'm going to fertilize it this weekend i'm going to give it the food that it needs hopefully if i give this some food I, i'll likely give it a lot of food um I think it's a bit of a deficiency but we'll see um, only time will tell with that this guy I'm not impressed with uh, I think I need a bigger uh, more deeper uh, pot so I'm gonna likely next year go with one of these and still use this frame uh, I want to patch it up a little bit uh, maybe glue it or you know um, melt it back into place uh, because I do like this it's not amazing but it does the job or maybe i can build a better one i don't know uh starting to see a few little flowers coming through for the peanuts which is good uh, but once it's ready i'll flop it down i'll let the tendrils grow into the um, soil and i'll get what i need from that and then the um, lime plant it's starting to recover slowly but surely i will keep my eye on it and i will make sure that this baby grows to what i need it to be so that's essentially everything on the balcony and the balcony is a lot tidier i'm happy about it um we're able to harvest the ground cherry as they fall so i'm really happy with what's going on here definitely a few little tweaks that i'll do next year but other than that it's doing well so thanks very much for tuning in and i'll speak to you soon